both of you would like to go and watch the plowing ceremony, wouldn't you? Today my father has had the city decorated in preparation for a great ceremony. It only takes place once a year. Go and watch. I will simply sit here. You needn't worry about me. With your permission, we'll go and watch for a while. As soon as the ceremony is finished, we'll be right back, your highness. Left alone in a peaceful and shady glade, Prince Siddhartha began to sit in meditation, attaining the tranquility of the first jhana. As the afternoon passed by, the shadows of all the trees moved with the course of the sun, except for the shade of the rose apple tree under which the prince sat. It did not shift position. But remained steadily in place. When the companions returned and saw this wonder, they were startled and conveyed the news to the king, who went to see for himself. When my son was newly born, Asita the hermit came to look at him, and to my surprise he bowed at my son's feet. On that day, I also bowed to my son for the first time. Now, my son has performed this marvel. Having seen it, I feel I must bow to him for a second time. When Prince Siddhartha was seven years old, King Suddhodana had three ponds dug in the grounds of the palace so that the prince could enjoy himself playing with his friend. Upon seeing that the prince had grown sufficiently to begin his education, King Suddhodana sent him to study with the renowned teacher Visa Vamita. Prince Siddhartha trained in 18 arts and sciences until he was adept. He was his teacher's top student, and before too long, he had learned all that his master could teach. <laughs> 